بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the final lesson of unit 3 the self-reflection from the name itself self-reflection you reflect on yourself on uh, about what you have studied it's just like a feedback you tell yourself what are the lessons that you understand the most and what are the uh, lessons that you don't understand and need help but before we do that let's open our workbooks page 109 exercise m we have these adjectives in this uh, in this box here use uh, some of the adjectives not all of them some of the adjectives in the box below to write about another amazing animal dangerous fast slow big heavy tiny intelligent and extinct extinct what does it mean extinct do you know the meaning of extinct yes extinct it means that they uh, don't exist any more they don't exist anymore to be extinct is to not exist any more so uh, choose some of these adjectives again dangerous fast slow big heavy tiny intelligent and extinct so choose any animal and just write uh, two or three lines about this animal using some of these uh, adjectives choose any animal you can choose a camel an elephant a bear uh, a monkey a chimpanzee a falcon for example i have chosen of course here is the elephant I said an elephant is a very intelligent animal even though it is a very big animal an elephant can run quite fast even though it's big it can run quite fast it is not a dangerous animal it is very friendly so I've chosen some of these uh, uh, adjectives here again an elephant is a very intelligent animal even though it's a very big animal an elephant can run quite fast it is not a dangerous animal it is very friendly so this is exercise m page 109 going to page 110 correct the errors in the sentences so we have sentences with errors and we will be correcting them the first one i think the most suitable pet is either a cat nor a turtle this is very obvious here I think the most suitable pet is either a cat nor a turtle. So did you find what's wrong about this sentence? So do we say either nor? So what do we say? Very good. We say again, I think the most suitable pet is either a cat or a turtle very good we don't say either nor we say either or so the uh, the correction here is uh, we uh, remove nor and put or again the most suitable pet is either a cat or a turtle number two both my sisters and my mother likes big cats again both my sisters both my sister and my mother likes big cats you have to pay attention here again both my sister and my mother likes big cats so what's wrong about this sentence focus on the verbs here very good we say both my sister and my mother like big cats so both my sister and my mother like big cats so we don't say likes we say like number three neither my uncle nor my brother liked the zoo so they went to visit it again neither my uncle nor my brother liked the zoo so they went to visit it again so what's the error here neither my uncle nor my brother liked uh, the zoo so they went to visit it again something doesn't add up here so 
How do we correct this? Let's see the correct answer here. We say both my uncle and my brother liked the zoo. So they went to visit it again. Because here it says neither my uncle nor my brother liked the zoo. It says here they didn't like it. So they went to uh, visit it again. So it doesn't make sense. So to make it correct, I say both my uncle and my brother liked it. They liked it so much that they went to visit it again. So it's not neither nor, it's both and. Very good. Both Humphrey and Coco is famous animals. Both Humphrey and Coco is famous animals. So how do we correct this here? Yes, very good. We say both Humphrey and uh, uh, are famous mousers. Both Humphrey uh, are famous mousers. Both, hum both Humphrey and Coco are famous animals. Continuing here, all the cheetah and the lion are fast animals. All the cheetah and lion, how many animals we have here? Pay attention, are fast animals. All the cheetah, all the cheetah and the lion are fast animals. So if there are two animals, what do we say? Yes, we say both, very good. Both the cheetah and the lion are fast animals. Neither John or his parents will have the chance to visit Africa this year. Neither John or his parents. So this is an easy one. Yes, it's neither nor. Yes, neither nor, not or, neither nor. So neither John nor his parents will have the chance to visit Africa this year. Number seven, the wildlife documentary was neither popular nor interesting, and also it won an award. Again, the same mistake. The wildlife documentary was neither popular nor interesting, and also it won an award. So what's the mistake here? Let's see the correct answer. The wildlife documentary was both. Very good, it's the same mistake as before. Was both popular and interesting. It was popular and interesting that it won an award. Very good. Moving to exercise O, page 110. So go to page 110, exercise O, about the same theme here. Rewrite sentences about pictures so the meaning stays the same. Use paired conjunction, use this paired conjunction, both and, either or, or neither nor. So the pictures in uh, workbook page 110. Rewrite the sentences. So we'll be rewriting these sentences about the pictures. So the meaning stays the same. So the meaning will stay the same. Use paired conjunction, both and, either or, or neither nor. The first one, cats can run fast and so can mice. Cats can run fast and so can mice. So both of them can run fast. So what do we say? Yes, very good. Both cats and mice can run fast. Both cats and mice, so we say both and can run fast fast. Very good. Number two, uh, John and Adel did not join the after-school computer club. John and Adel joined the after-school creative workshop instead. So use both and, either or, neither nor. So what do we say here? John, uh, John and Adel did not uh, join the after-school computer club. John and Adel joined the after-school creative workshop instead. So the correct answer would be neither John nor Adil, neither nor. They didn't join what? The after school computer club. So we say neither John nor Adil joined the after school computer club. They joined the after school creative workshop instead. Very good. Number three, Sam and Ali like fishing. Ali caught a fish, but Sam didn't. So. Sam and Ali like fishing. Ali caught a fish, but Sam didn't. 
So what do we say here? Both Sam and Ali like fishing. So both Sam and Ali like fishing. Ali caught a fish, but Sam didn't. Very good. And this is what we took previously in the project. If you remember, I asked you, uh, you have been asked to select some animals for uh, the zoo in Saudi Arabia. Then I asked you to fill this chart with three animals and write about the, its name, the country of origin, eating habits, friends and, and enemies, space requirements, other characteristics, and the reason for selection. The reason for selection. Why did you choose this animal if you remember? Of course. Then uh, I ask you to have a meeting in class and make a final decision about the animal that you want or you would like to include in the zoo. Use your information to support your choice. So to support your choice, use your information to back up, to support your choice to include this animal in the zoo. So moving on to today's lesson, the self-reflection. Of course, the objective would be to uh, write your feedback and self-reflection. So in these charts here, uh, th this one, things that I liked about unit three. What did you like about unit three? You can list the things that you liked about this unit. For example, the theme, the theme of animals. This is a really interesting theme. You can enjoy it. Uh, maybe the grammars, the, uh, the f uh, for meaning and function, the, about the adjectives, or maybe the conversation or the reading, or maybe some of the uh, situations that the animals helped some people, like the parrots who saved the family from the fire, or the horse who saved the family from the earthquake, or the gorilla that saved the baby, and so on. So this is a really interesting uh, theme for this unit. Things that I didn't like very much things that I didn't like very much. What, uh, what you didn't like about this unit? Maybe some of this lesson, maybe there are things that you want uh, to improve in uh, this unit, things that you didn't like. Things that I found easy in unit three, some of the lessons that were easy for you, the grammar, maybe the listening, maybe the four meaning function, and also things that I found difficult in this unit. This is really important. The difficult lessons, you have to list them, to uh, revisit them again, and or, or maybe you can ask the teacher to help you uh, uh, about them. This is the checklist, if you remember it. I can do this very well, check here. I can do this quite well, check here. I need to study or practice more. So these are some of the lessons from this unit. Talk about animals and their uh, behavior. If you remember, we talked about animals and their behavior through this uh, unit. If you remember this lesson, the, uh, the uh, punctuary fill is easily the most famous groundhog. The, uh, ground, this groundhog or this uh, coco. If you remember, coco there was a famous gorilla who used human sign language. This is really interesting, a gorilla using human sign language. Also here, uh, if you remember this cat, which was a mouser, a mouser, what is a mouser? It's a cat that is kept for the sole purpose of catching mice. So it also lived in the prime minister's residence for centuries, which is really interesting. And also the story, of the lion with John Rendell and Anthony Burke. Also, uh, did you find this, uh, these lessons, the animals and their behavior, did you understand this very well or quite well, or you think that you need more practice? Also asking for and giving advice. If you remember from the conversation, asking for and giving advice. When you want to ask for advice, you say this, what do you suggest I do about? or what I do about. So what do I do about? When you want uh, advice, you ask your friend, what do you suggest I do about my problem? Could you advise me on my problem? I really need some advice on. And giving advice here, or you can say, of course, how should I handle it when? So all of these are asking for advice. And if you want to give advice, 
you say I advise you to or I strongly advise you to or you can say if I were you or if I were in your shoes if I were you I would do this I would do that it would be a good idea to do this it's not a good idea to do something so the advice maybe sometimes it's to do something or sometimes it's not to do something don't talk to him don't talk to him this is an advice don't talk to him when he talks to you continuing uh, here using the uh, passive models using the passive models if you remember the passive models it is the model plus b plus the past participle the active and the passive so the active model is will release the passive will be released will be released or you can say the the vet may cancel here the cat's ketchup may be cancelled the model may be and the past participle is cancelled you can uh, train or the parrots can be trained and so on so this is the passive models also use the passive with the reporting verbs if you remember this lesson the passive with the reporting verbs the passive with the reporting verbs use it uh, uses say if you remember with uh, what other people say or believe something say is the most common reporting verb we often use the passive with reporting verbs when we want to talk about what people say or believe but the identity of the people isn't known, uh, isn't known or it's not important these are the forms the first form is it then the passive reporting verb that then you continue with the clause for example you say it is said that she is the leading expert on guerrilla communication so it is then the passive reporting verb said then the word that here then you continue the clause she is the leading expert and so on the second form is the subject plus the passive reporting verb plus two then the infinitive or the perfect infinitive so the subject here is she is or dolphins are and the passive reporting verb here is said or believed then to if you remember to so she is said to be the leading expert or dolphins are believed to be the most intelligent of animals and so on and with the present tenses uh, uh, sentences the passive reporting verb is followed by a present infinitive we say the cat is thought to be lost is thought to be lost uh, also here we the use of adjectives if you remember from the form meaning and function the use of adjectives the location the position of adjectives we place adjectives either after the verb to be um, is are or before a noun so we say dolphins are intelligent after verb to be are intelligence intelligent or before a noun you can say dolphins are intelligent animals intelligent animals cats are very independent or you can say tigers are very independent animals and so on also the adjectives from verbs and nouns adjectives that are derived from verbs and nouns if you remember a lot a lot of adjectives not all of them a lot of them are derived from verbs and nouns uh, many adjectives are formed by adding the following suffixes suffixes are the letters that come in the ending of the word like y like this one health healthy this is the y here full like care uh, careful l e s s care careless a t e uh, a l i v e o u s i c e d or i n g so this uh, and these are of course some examples here use becomes useless impression becomes impressed care as we mentioned before careful uh, also here energy becomes energetic the noun energy becomes energetic and the verb impress becomes the adjective um, impressive and also the compare uh, using all both neither none if you remember we use them to compare two or more both and neither comes with only two 
like here, both cheetahs and leopards. All and none comes with three and more. And we also learned these uh, both and, neither nor, either or, uh, that they connect the clauses. My favorite animal is either an elephant or a camel. Remember, both of them are nouns. Also here in the chart, in the uh, self-reflection, my five favorite new words from unit three. From the theme of unit three, talking about animals, I think you have uh, lots of new words that you would like to write. So you can list more than five here. And here, if you're still not sure about something from unit three, read through the unit again, listen to the audio material again, study the grammar and functions from the uh, unit again. And the last one, always go to your teacher for help. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdik. Ashadun alayhi wa tawbu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum.